South Australia's talented medical researchers, environmental scientists and engineering experts are achieving some amazing things. And this work really does impact the lives of us non-scientific types like me. And a unique event called Pint of Science is back, bigger and better, to celebrate and learn about science in the pub. Dr Katerina Richter is a biomedical researcher and also the director of A Pint of Science. And Dr Tulio Rossi, you're a, quite a talented young man, a marine biologist and a graphic designer. Welcome. Uh, Dr Richter, firstly, what is the aim of Pint of Science and who are you trying to appeal to? So Pine of Science is a global festival to bring science to society in the comfort of a pub. The aim is to showcase the latest and greatest research that is coming out of our local laboratories and universities over here and show the entire world what kind of great research is going on and how this is actually impacting their everyday life. We want to make it accessible to the community and therefore we go to the pubs. <laughs> This is where the community is. So everybody is actually invited to come along and just to have a pint of water or beer or whatever you like with us. So everybody is welcome to, to join Pint of Science and a, scientif a, a scientific background is not required. That's good to hear. That's why it appeals to people like me, because I'm not as clever as you two. Now, Dr Tulio Rossi, uh, as I said, marine biologist and a graphic okay. designer, okay. you also made a career out of helping other scientists tell their stories. Tell us about sure. that. So everything started when I was a researcher myself at the University of Adelaide, and I had my first paper published. I realised not many people were going to read that, because it was written for experts in a hyper-complicated way. So I cared about that story getting out because it was about the effect of climate change on marine life. So what I did is that I turned that story into an animation video. Easy enough that even from kids to grandparents could understand it. That worked. Even better than I could imagine, still today that video is used in schools for teaching kids about climate change. What I do now is that I help researchers from all around the world tell their stories using the same techniques of storytelling, animation and design which helped me years ago. Yeah, no, it's, it's a, great, uh, a great thing. It does explain things terrifically well. We've seen some of those pictures just there. Um, now tell us about what you're talking about at Pint of Science though next week. This is about a really wonderful natural light show. It is. So Will, if you were with me 16 years ago, you would have found yourself scuba diving at night. <laughs> at some point, the dive guide told us, sit at the bottom, turn off your torch and wave your hands. As I did that, the water around me started to glow. It was like being surrounded by stars, like being in the middle of the Milky Way with the ability of playing with these stars. What was happening was not magic though. It's something that science can explain. However, to learn what that is exactly and how it works, you'll have to come to my talk next week at the Pint of Science Festival. <laughs> That's a very good plug. Well done. I like that. Um, now, why has Pint of Science gotten so popular, uh, Dr Richter? It's, I think it's in 400 cities around the world yeah. now, after just seven years, starting in one city in the UK. Yeah. Why, why has it grown so quickly? Well, Pine of Science makes science really accessible to everybody and understandable for everybody. As I said, you don't need a scientific background to understand the presentations. It is all about having fun with science and being entertained and educated. So we cover actually a lot of topics from glowing bacteria underwater to curing cancer and using Twitter to predict disease outbreaks or how to save indigenous languages and then also you know climate change and space junk and so many different topics so it is really something for you you can find a topic that really is close to your heart and we bring this to the pub so um, people can have a lot of fun with it so therefore Pint of Science is a unique opportunity for the community to actually question researchers who are at the forefront of science and um, we celebrate all things science and um, yeah basically um, you can learn about the great things which are um, in the research today and how this affects the life of tomorrow. Yep, exactly right. It is terrific. And uh, pintofscience.com.au? Correct. All right, all the information there. Yes. Thanks so much, Dr Richter, Dr Rossi. Terrific stuff. Thank you. Thank well, you. you.